Hello and welcome to the introduction to the Apple Orchard Turnabout and Dies. This is a great apple themed turnabout stamp set, perfect for the fall and back to school. So the traditional turnabout stamp, which I will show you how to do that later. There's lots of different sentiments that pair with the apples. Thanks a bunch. I think you're neat. Thanks for all you do. And on the back, it shows you how this turnabout looks through the different passes. So you can rotate it four times. This is how it looks when you stamp it one time with poppy ink. And this is what it looks like when you stamp it and rotate it once. So there's the two, poppy and honeysuckle. Then I rotated it a, 30 t a third time and you sprout. And here is the fourth and finished with grapefruit ink. And it just fits together like a puzzle turnabout piece and makes a beautiful background. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, here's my, what's this called, turnabout jig. And I'm adhering a panel of white cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. You just line it up with the registration marks. Make sure that that one is up in the top right corner so you know you're starting with the first rotation. Okay, I'm gonna start by inking up with Poppy. Now, of course, you can customize this a million different ways with the color combinations that you choose. Um, I'm doing kind of a warm, friendly, happy, I mean, all the Concord Ninth inks are friendly and happy, but did I mention that the Concord Ninth inks stamp like butter? They do, okay? And I like to use a little stamp, I forget what this is called, a little stamp press thingamajiggy, helps me get really good, even pressure so there's one time with poppy ink, stamps beautifully. Now I'm gonna rotate that so that the two is in the top right corner. And I cleaned off my stamp and I'm gonna ink it up with honeysuckle ink. And um, sometimes you might have to stamp it twice or three times if you don't get a good impression. Um, the more you stamp it, the better seasoned your stamps get. And I find you get better results the more and more you use it. Um, but that's what's great about the Misty. So there is the rotation with the honeysuckle. Now you have honeysuckle and poppy. I rotated again so that the three is in the top right corner and I cleaned off my stamp. This time I'm inking up with grapefruit ink and there's really not a lot of images. So you, you just kind of got to tap, tap, tap to get that ink on the apples and the seeds and the dots and try to get an even pressure with my little stamp press tool and it's stamping beautifully. I'm always amazed how this works when you rotate it. The genius behind how they design these is beyond. Okay, last time with Sprout ink, and I'm inking this up all around. I am cleaning off my stamp in between, just so you know. Okay, so there you have the fourth and final rotation with the Apple Orchard Turnabout, and look how it turns out just so fun. It's like you've created your own pattern paper. And if you're familiar with the Concord Knight turnabout stamps, then you're probably an old veteran at this. Now here's the dies, the apple orchard dies. You get a large apple, which I die cut four of these. And then there's also like a half, kind of a cutout that you can add right here. And it looks like the apple is sliced open. There's also a little tiny die that die cuts, three little apple seeds you can add to your slice. For this one here, I actually used enamel dots. You can purchase this full sheet of enamel dots. They're like in the shape of apple seeds. They're part of the August release as well in the Concord Night Shop, and they give it a raised, glossy look to it. So you can add enamel dot seeds, or you can just use die cut seeds that are included in the die set. I added that little die cut heart, and then the sentiment, I think you're neat. I stamped that honeysuckle onto honeysuckle cardstock. There's a stem and a leaf that you can add as well. For this green apple, I embossed the you're the nicest sentiment. It's a large oversized sentiment. I embossed that in white. For this red apple, I used the thanks a bunch and I stamped that in poppy onto the poppy cardstock for a tone on tone. Now there's two smaller little apple dies that you can use to die cut just small little solid color apples. You can also use those dies on the turnabout. If you stamp the turnabout, the dies will die cut that singular apple shape. If you wanna isolate that and die cut those as well. And then there's little leaves 
die cuts that you can add to your apples. And that is everything in the Apple Orchard die set. Now here's the cards that I've created. This would be so perfect for a teacher thank you. Or maybe you wanna make a set of these as a gift for a teacher. But just, I love that thanks a bunch, big oversized apple on top of that turnabout background stamped background. Okay, and then card number two, I went a little crazy and well, at least how many did I do here? 15 little apples out of solid color cardstock. I add a little ink blending for a bit of gradient love. And then for the sentiment, I embossed this thanks for all you do in white on a little strip of black cardstock. So there you have a great way to utilize those small die cuts. And that is everything from the introduction to the apple orchard turnabout and dies.